Hello there. I'm not too sure how good the quality is of uh, this picture. I'll put the camera in front of my uh, computer monitor. Um, there's some files I'm about to delete, but I thought before I do, you may be interested. When I was more active in amateur radio than I am today, I've already done a video on that subject, I, I uh, was quite interested in two meters, amongst many others. And here is a five element uh, horizontally opposed, uh, opposed two meter quaggy. The, recent, the original design um, I saw in a practical wireless magazine in about the mid 90s I believe. And I remember the call sign was G6VNT so to him goes the credit. But I've modified his design to some extent it uses a circular round driven element. This uh, type of element probably has the best capture effect of all. Better than squares, folded dipoles and so forth. So for a relatively small aerial the gain is quite good. There's a couple of directors on the front. This is the front of course. And uh, that adds about 3 dB. And the reflector is actually a slot to horizontal reflectors and by the general arrangement and sizes quite a good match is made. Because the driven element is balanced and the coax cable is unbalanced there is a two turn current balun at the feed point the whole thing sits on my rotator and this is a pump up mass and goes up about 50 feet. It's covered up at the moment to keep the, uh, the weather out during the winter. And I've found the results of this in um, contesting and so forth is pretty good. There was one guy, um, not sure which magazine it was in, but he stacked 12 of these and called it a portable station. <laughs> quite something. Anyway, it's a little bit different. It's a cross between a quad and a yagi and it's called a quaggy. I'll show you the feed point. Well, again using the uh, computer monitor, as I say I'm uh, deleting these, so better capture them now, <laughs> is a two turn um, current ballon and as I said this this uh, driven element I think it's about 15 mil something like that anyway it's small bore copper pipe and here we have a small Bakelite connection block and the coax is soldered directly onto this and if this picture shows it up you can see that this whole area has been covered, covered in aerodite, standard aerodite to part epoxy. I really love this stuff, it has good RF properties and if it's painted a couple of times you really keep the water out of the coax which is a, a big problem with um, coax is, is dampness and rain getting into the coax and you get a capillary action and it ruins all sorts of um, impedances. But this is pretty good, it's pretty UV stable and has good RF properties. And the overall uh, performance of this aerial I'm most impressed with. While on the subject of two meters, again various things I'm deleting, just thought I'd show you this is my uh, aerial mount on my car. It's for two meters vertical and it's an SO329 socket mounted on a small aluminium bracket I made up. It's an extremely neat arrangement and you might say well so what? Well like a lot of simple things there's, uh, there's a lot more to it than you first imagine. First of all from the side view it can't be seen and because it's lower than the roof rails, this is a roof rail, I can put ladders and sheets of ply on top without interfering with the the aerial mount. I can put a little plastic top on that for uh, when it's raining if I haven't got an aerial or 
going into multi-storey car parks and the like. But these rails are made of an alloy and um, they actually help in the grain, ground plane. Um, not only the roof of the car but these two horizontal rails and it gives a good strong uh, fixing. And I drilled and tapped the two bolts and this is a as I say it's very neat and the, the coax again using um, Araldite no I haven't got shares in the company um, goes in through the rubbers of the doorway and I just use uh, uh, G58 RG58 which is plenty good enough for the short run and uh, for two meters vertical polarization so I thought I'd show you that one it, it, it is extremely simple but uh, there's some elegance in its simplicity. Right, that's now going to get deleted.